Hey guys, it's McKenna. Welcome to my channel. So today, as the title says, I'm going to be doing my booktube newbie tag. Um, I'm super excited to be on booktube. I've wanted to be in the booktube community for like a month now, um, ever since I discovered it. And I finally decided to sit down and film this newbie tag. And then also I've got a book haul. Um, I literally just got back from the store a little while ago and I wasn't planning on buying any books when I went to the store. I went to like exchange some boots and um, I walked out with six books. So <laughs> I'm going to do um, that book haul for you guys. And then I'm also just going to like mention my New Year's resolutions like just a little bit. So if you guys have come clicked on this video to watch like a certain part, um, if you don't want to watch my book to a newbie tag, you just want to see my haul or whatever, I'm going to put the time link for each one, like the timestamp um, for when each part of the video starts because I know it's going to be a little bit long. So if you don't want to watch um, a certain part, you can just like skip ahead. Also, I apologize for this like drab background. I'm in my parents' house. I'm currently living with my parents um, because I'm like doing an exchange program in a couple months. So um, I can't go back and live in my apartment because I'm subleasing, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the background will change a couple more times um, for the next few videos. It'll be this like drab looking background, but um, I'll have, like film videos when I'm in Korea because that's where I'm going for my exchange program and I'll have like you know a new setup there and then once I officially like move back into my apartment I'll have like my permanent setup so this this background won't be here for long I just like couldn't find a good spot in my parents house to film so I'm just like sitting on the floor in front of the couch so yeah um also if you see this like black thing in the background it's my dog um, he's laying on this part of the couch. I know this video is going to be so long as is, so like, let's go ahead and get into the booktube newbie tag. And if I'm like ever looking over here, I have my computer over here, I've got the questions pulled up on here, so yeah. So question number one, um, why did you start this channel? So I originally wanted to start YouTube um, as like doing like makeup and like beauty guru kind of stuff, but I just realized that like I didn't really want, I wasn't that good at like coming up with like creative makeup ideas and things and like just that whole kind of, I guess community is, was like really like super saturated and everyone was doing makeup and everyone was, you know, doing makeup tutorials and I know that booktube is also a little saturated just because, I mean, there are a bunch of booktubers out here but we can all talk about something different and give different opinions and I feel like with makeup, yes, there are tons of products and everything but I don't know, I just, I felt like booktube was more of my place and um, and so I still will want to do like some skincare stuff and like, you know, a few other things. But um, especially with like me going to Korea and Korea is like super into skincare and super into beauty. So like I definitely would love to do some videos over there, but regarding those stuff. But I feel like booktube is like really like booktube is me. Like I love reading. I love talking about the books that I read. I love giving my opinion about books that I read. And I don't have friends who read the same books as me and who I can like talk with about the books that I read and like yeah I can chat with them about it but like they're not gonna get it you know. So like I really want to just make friends in the booktube community and just like give my opinions and also like you know I, I really want this to like help me read more because I didn't read a lot in 2017 um, and I, I used to read so much. And so I really want to get back into it. Um, okay, question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, okay, well, I love to read every genre. If a book sounds interesting to me, I will read it. No matter what the genre, you know, I will read anything from YA to adult um, fiction, nonfiction, historical fiction. I like to read graphic novels and, like, manga and things like that. So, like, I will read anything and I will give my review on it and so I think you know I see a lot of booktubers who are like very narrow in their like reading genres um just like YA fiction you know you don't branch out as much um and that's okay like if that's what they like to read that's totally cool that's totally fine um but I am definitely someone who will read any any genre I love it all so I think that's what's kind of unique about me and I know there are definitely other booktubers out there like that who read everything but I think that's something fun that I can bring to the table is not only you know talking about YA novels that I read but also um just all, a whole ton of books so yeah um question number three what are you most excited for about this new channel um I guess just like 
reading more books because like I said 2017 was like it was a hard year for me anyway and then it was like a really really crappy year for me like reading wise I didn't read as much I didn't I didn't enjoy I think I only, only enjoyed one book that I read in 2017 um, and I read a total of like 10 books in 2017 so I hated all the others <laughs> Um, so it just like it sucked as a reading year. I really want to find more books that I really like enjoy like page turners that I just can't put down like those are my kind of, my favorite kind of books and even the one book that I enjoyed in 2017 it took me a couple months to get through it. So it just wasn't it wasn't my kind of reading it wasn't that page turning just thrilling fast books that I love to read. It was very you know monotonous and I just it wasn't a good reading year for me so I'm really hoping that like 2008 in general and this channel I'm just really excited for them to like be a great year for like reading for me. Question number four why do you love reading? I don't know. <laughs> I've always loved it. I've loved it ever since I was little. I I don't know I just I really enjoy reading about different characters and you know different worlds and just like seeing the creativity of like these different authors and just like how one person can create something so intricate and unique and cool and I just I think that's amazing and like I love to read about stuff like that so that um I know like the most common answer for this is like you get lost in a new world and like you can kind of get you know escape from reality and yes that is a part of why I love reading I love that escape from reality but I just love falling in love with characters and I love, you know, I love just reading about characters. I just love reading. I don't know. I, I don't have a definite answer. I, I know that there are people who hate reading, who think it's boring, who can't get into stuff, but I'm the complete opposite. I find reading exhilarating. I love it so much. Um, okay. Oh, Max. He's like whining. Question number five. What book series, what book or series got you into reading? Um, so... I remember, like, this is one of my first memories I have in my childhood, um, but I remember in kindergarten when we did, um, AR, is what we called it, um, we would go to the library and we had to, you know, check out our library book and then we would have, like, t we would take an AR test, which is just like a reading test on it. Max, please! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so... When I did the AR test, uh, there was a, a book that I saw one of my classmates reading, and it was about a pink cat with purple polka dots. And it was it was a chapter book, and it would have been the first chapter book I ever read. But I wasn't at the AR level um, to get that to check out that book because, like you know, as you read more books, your AR level gets higher and stuff. So I wasn't at that AR level yet, and I couldn't get the book and couldn't check it out. And the guy who um, who had the book that I saw he was a lot higher than me in AR and, and so I read so much of those stupid little like you know children's books that are just like about animals or whatever so I could get that that chapter book and it was the first chapter book I ever got and I loved it and I don't know the name of it <laughs> but like that's what started my just love of reading I had to have that book I wanted it and you know it just kind of took off from there um there are a lot of series that I have really like paved the way for me. Um, the series of unfortunate events, you know, definitely Harry Potter, like um, Twilight, even because I read that, you know, right when it was coming out in middle school. There are a lot of series and books that just have definitely paved my way of loving to read and you know getting into series and things. So. Um, you know, but that, that chapter book about that pink cat with purple polka dots forever, ever hold a special place in my heart because it was my first chapter book. <laughs> I don't know the name of it or anything, but... Okay, so question number six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I don't know. I think I would love to sit down with um, Hannah from A Clockwork Reader um, and talk to her about The Night Circus because that was the one book in 2017 that I enjoyed reading. Um, and it's her favorite book of all time. So I would just really love to sit down with her and talk to her about like everything in that book. And, um, she was the, um, Hannah was the reason that I got into booktube. Her videos were the first videos I ever watched from booktube. Um, and so she's the reason why I wanted to start a booktube. Um, question number seven, 
what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome uh keeping up with this like it's it's a lot for me to just sit down and film like just like i don't know just keeping up with it um it editing is the worst i hate editing so definitely like pushing through that and like actually getting videos up is gonna be my hardest struggle and i'm really hoping that i can do that i'm sorry for the zoo in my video okay question number eight when did you start reading um kindergarten i guess when we had to check out ar books um i've been reading you know for forever ever since i can remember i've always loved it i've always wanted to read so question number nine where do you read um anywhere really i'll read anywhere i take books with me you know if i'm waiting somewhere if i'm at a restaurant um you know I will read anywhere. My favorite places to read are like curled up in an armchair. I really don't like to read in bed. I will literally read anywhere. And then question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? Like I said in question number whatever, I don't remember, I think it was question two, yeah. Question two about what I can bring to booktube. I love to read anything. I, I really do. I think some of my favorite genres are historical fiction. I'm trying to get more away from YA because it's, I feel like the YA tropes are kind of starting to get on my nerves as I get older. Um, and just as I get older in general, my tastes change and like get more mature as I get more mature. So I'm starting to, you know, try to move away from YA a little bit more. Um, but I love fiction. Like I said, I just, I love to read everything. I will read everything as long as, it, as long as it sounds interesting to me, I will read it. So yeah, so that's my booktube new tag. I'm so excited to be on booktube and like be a part of this community and like just give my opinions of books out there and like continue watching videos on booktube and like seeing what other people have to say and yeah i'm so excited i'm just gonna now just talk about my new year's resolutions a little bit with you guys um just like briefly mention them i know this video is already so long but basically for 2018 i really want to focus on reading like i said previously i want this to be a whole entire year of reading and just focusing on myself and um i put in my goodreads um challenge I want to read 50 books I'm hoping maybe I can get more than that um I'm looking at reading about 12 before I go to Korea and then I will be reading ebooks in Korea I'm not going to take any you know actual physical books just because of the weight and stuff so um I'm not 100% sure what I'll be buying on my e-reader I have a nook um from Barnes and Noble so I'm not sure what I'll be putting on my nook to read just yet but I will be doing a January basically like a January through like a little bit of February PBR just like of what I'm gonna read until I go to Korea and then who knows what I'll read in Korea um but yeah so I just want to make this a year of reading and just really focus on me myself um I'd love to also of course focus more on like health stuff I had a friend who actually just um kind of wrote like a little mini ebook about um help and like getting yourself on track she put like a bunch of tips on like diet stuff and like just things to eat per meal and like what kind of workouts to do so i would really love to get you know obviously get back you know into the health stuff and just like really working out and things like that of course like that's the traditional i feel like new year's resolution um but yeah i really want to especially like while i'm in korea i would still like to you know i think we have like a little exercise room in our dorm um, hopefully, so maybe, you know, just get on the elliptical, you know, four or five times a week, um, and just, like, really try and, you know, do a little bit, especially while I'm over there, because I know I'll be eating a lot. Um, and then I think just, yeah, just focusing on overall health, reading more, and then just, like, my school and stuff, I really want to, um, focus more on getting good grades and getting all A's and, like... I have just this, this huge plan of what I want to do and like who I want to be and what I want to major in and you know so I really you know my grades are all there for me to do all this stuff but um I really want to get them to where they need to be and yeah just like focusing on me basically I need this year to be a year of me because 2017 was just like a year of people bringing me down basically and just like 
I lost some friends in 2017 and like it was just a really hard year for me and so I think that 2018 I just need this to be the year of me and just you know finding myself a little bit and like bettering myself and moving on past people who have brought me down in the past. So yeah um if you guys want me to like you know elaborate on anything um in my new year's resolutions like if you guys want me to talk about health tips um I can even talk to you guys a little bit about my friend's ebook that she wrote um I can you know talk to her about maybe sharing it with some of you guys if you guys would like to read it and stuff um yeah so that's pretty much it yeah um if you guys want me to talk about like maybe like my workout routine when I'm in Korea I know I'll be doing tons of videos like about Korea and about my life in Korea when I'm there so if you know when it gets to that point if you guys want me to do like an exercise video or like a eating routine exercise routine while I'm over there you know because it's it's gonna be very different obviously probably from my routines over here so if you guys want me to do that I can definitely talk to you guys about that when I'm over there um yeah so now I'm gonna move into my book haul um like I said I have six new books um, to talk to you guys about and just like show you. Um, I'm really excited about all of these. I, like I said, I didn't mean to go and pick them up, um, but I did. I, um, I got them from Ollie's Express. I know there's a bunch all over the U.S. and stuff, so if you have one in your town or you have one close to you, go there and buy books because I think the most I paid for one of these books is $3.99 and the least I paid is $1.99. So their books are so 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 cheap so go buy books at ollie's because it's great um okay yeah i have them in a stack right here i'm just gonna pick from the top and show you guys so the first book i bought was the night film by marisha Pessel. pestle i don't know how you say that so i think this is basically a mystery this was actually the only book that i bought tonight that was already on my goodreads to read list um but I think it's a mystery. It's like a super dense book. Like when I picked it up, it was really heavy. But it's about a girl who's found dead and her death is ruled a suicide. And then this journalist, Scott McGrath is what his name is. And he, you know, obviously suspects that her death wasn't a suicide, that it was something else. So it was basically just his investigation of like figuring out what happened to Ashley, which is what the girl's name is that was found dead. Um... And yeah, so it's a mystery. Um, it's a novel. I'm so excited to read it. Um, there's like, you know, blog post of the crime and just like, it looks really, really cool. So I'm so excited to read this. So the next book I bought, I literally just picked this up for the cover because it looks so cool. Um, but it's called The Fire Sermon by Francesca Haig. Hag. Her last name is spelled H. A-I-G. So, not sure how to pronounce it. Haig, maybe. But this was in the Christian section of Ollie's, um, but I don't think it's a Christian book. I think just because it was called, like, The Fire Sermon, it was, but I don't think it's a Christian book. Basically, what this book is about is about this um, post-apocalyptic world where they have these people called Omegas, and they are born in pairs. So the Omegas are the pairs, and when one Omega dies, the other immediately dies. So it's about this girl named Cassie, and she has like psychic powers, or like a psychic foresight is what she calls it, so basically she can see the future. And there's another character named Zack, who is an alpha, which is like, I guess they're like military who have taken over the world, and Zack is like trying to kill these Omegas, and... So it's basically about Cassie and Zach, and I guess I'm assuming probably how their stories intertwine and all that. So I'm very excited to read this. I love a good like post-apocalyptic, like dystopian book. So so excited for this. And also, it's a trilogy. So this is the first book in the trilogy. The next book I got was Cleopatra's Moon by Vicky Schechter. Um this book just looked really pretty. I love the gold and everything. The model's really pretty they have on here, so. Um, but basically I think this is just like a, I think this is about Cleopatra's daughter, Cleopatra and Mark Antony's daughter, and her name's Celine. 
and I think it's just basically about like I think there's a love triangle in here it's a historical fiction obviously um there's like a love triangle I think that something devastating happens to like the palace that she lives in like her family um and she basically I think gets captured and like she's torn between these two guys who come into her life that's basically all the synopsis said so I love like I said I love a good historical fiction I love it I love ancient Egypt so I was so excited when I picked this book up and it was like only $1.99 so I'm so excited to read this um the next book I got is actually a Christian fiction um and this is called counted counted with the stars um, by Conalyn Cassette um, and it is in a series it looks like out of out from Egypt book one um, this is about a young like Egyptian girl named Kaya or Kia I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced um, it's K-I-Y-A is how it's spelled so I'm probably gonna say Kia because I used to have an American doll named Kaya and it was K-A-Y-A so Kia is basically sold into slavery. She's a young Egyptian girl and it's basically about um, her finding like it's got you know her finding strength through God like elements with that. I thought this cover was gorgeous. There's a plague that's going on during this during the setting. Um, I think she like it says Kia finds herself drawn to a man who despises her people so like you know there might be a love story in there. I I mainly picked this up because the cover is beautiful. I've read one other like really solid Christian fiction book, Redeeming Love, and it was so good. It changed me. I'm not like, wouldn't necessarily call myself like very religious, and I definitely don't seek out religious books, but you know, my family's Christian. I've grown up Christian, so I will read Christian books, and I'll read other religions too, um, but this one's just like it sounded so good. The cover was beautiful. I'm really excited to read that one and see. So next book I got was The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Um, and this is, this cover by the way is raised so it feels like you're like touching the rain that's on this window. Um, but this is basically about this woman named Lo who is on a train, obviously. Um, and she has this, like, dream where this other woman, like, gets thrown overboard. And basically, like, when she wakes up, she tells somebody, uh, I think, and they're like, no, every passenger is accounted for. Like, we're moving on. Like, we're not searching and everything. And so it's just, like, this mystery. Um, it kind of gives me, like almost like Gone Girl vibes like that um just like a thriller um also it has a review from Reese Witherspoon back here um Reese Re Witherspoon said prepare to be scared really scared when I read this page turning book about a bachelorette party gone wrong I almost bit all my fingernails off so I guess there's a bachelorette party in here and Reese Witherspoon loved it so I love Reese Witherspoon I trust her I'm really excited for this book and then the last book I got was Black City by Elizabeth Richards. And honestly, I don't really know what this is about, except for I like kind of read the I kind of read the synopsis when I was in the store, but I got to the first paragraph and like thought it sounded so amazing. And I think I've seen this before and I've I really wanted to read it. It's not on my Goodreads Goodreads to read, but I I think I want to read it. Um Basically, it's a love story, I think, in a dystopian world. Um, literally, the first sentence says, In the aftermath of a brutal and bloody war in the still smoldering black city, 16-year-olds Natalie Buchanan and Ash Fisher do the unthinkable. They fall in love. And I was like, immediately there, I was like, okay, I have to read it. <laughs> so, picked it up. And, yeah. Those are all the books that I just bought tonight. These probably won't go on my January TBR, um, but I will be filming a January TBR um, soon, probably later this week. I will have that up. Um, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try and post like Tuesday, Thursdays, maybe Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, maybe. Um, and that schedule might be a little bit flexible, but or I'm finishing a series um, tonight that I've been reading. 
So I'm going to post a review on that because I have a lot to say about that series. So a review will be going up soon this week as well. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.